And we're now joined by the victors of game three, Gustavus Selfless College. First off, congrats on a win. Coach, we'll start with you. What did you see out there in the 3-1 win? Um, well, first, I just want to congratulate Chicago on their amazing season and a really fun match against them. Um, they're a very young team, and they're going to have a very bright future, so congratulations to them on their season. Um, the match was a lot of fun. Um, we kind of stuck with our game plan for the most part, a little blip in the second, um, but as long as we were staying aggressive, we were being smart on offense, and I thought serving aggressive um, behind the line was very effective for us. I thought the long rallies um, went our way often and we did a really good job being disciplined on defense so I'm proud of the way that the team stuck with the game plan. And joining head coach Rochelle Sheridan is Kate Holton. Casey Tweet again congratulations ladies. We'll start with you Kate. 22 kills game high between everybody on the court. A fast start for you as well. 25-16 set one. How did you get off to the fast start? Um, I think just coming in, like Coach said, like with our game plan, um, sticking to our strategy and really trusting um, each other as a team, um, I think that has just really helped us to set the tone right away and come out on top for that first set. And then serving it back over to you, um, Casey, 60 kills on the team, 46 assists for yourself. As the game you know, got, got going after dropping that second set, how was, what, was the, what was the feeling amongst everybody on the floor? Um, I think there was definitely some nerves, but kind of like Ro and um, Kate touched on, we do have a very versatile team. We have lots of options as a setter. Um, I feel confident setting any of my hitters. And so I think um, after that second set loss, we did a, I was able to spread the offense a little bit more and opened up um, opportunities for Kate and all the other hitters as well. And I'll stick with the question for you. How does this team prepare for tomorrow? You know, a little bit of a quick turnaround. You don't play till 7 p.m., but you do enjoy the victory tonight and then look forward to it or you just delete this game and it's on to the next one? <laughs> I think we will definitely will enjoy the um, victory. We have played Eau Claire, I mean Eau Claire and we haven't played Greenville yet, but um, um, we're just going to enjoy this, not think too much like Roe stresses a lot. Um, we're going to um, just focus on what we can do um, and yeah. Um, Kate, for you, what is the leadership like amongst this team? You know, with, with the COVID year last year coming in, we finally get NCAA playoffs back. How was the feeling been throughout the entire season? I think um, leadership-wise, everyone like has their own role as a leader on the team. So obviously everyone showcases it differently, but I think that that's one of the biggest strengths is um, we don't really define leaders by um, one definition. Everyone kind of has their own approach and that's what makes us unique and um, work really well together as a team. So. Um, I would say that everybody has that comfortability to take charge and um, speak up when needed and kind of lead by example on the court. And we'll end with a question for you, Coach Sheridan. Obviously, UW Eau Claire, very familiar foe for you, as we heard you know Casey say earlier. Greenville, not so much. How's the scouting report go as you guys watch this next game? Well, as anyone knows that's been in this tournament, anything can happen. So we go out there and we do our best to scout both teams. And then whoever we face tomorrow, it's important that we be us and we stick to our game plan. And we're just ready to bring it. So, Awesome. Congratulations again. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank, Thank you. you.